friends, it's Sarah from She's Crafting and She Knows It. And today I'm gonna show you how I made these super cute custom sunglasses for my daughters. Okay, and obviously I bought the kids size sunglasses because these are for my daughters, but you could buy adult sunglasses if you wanna make them for your friends, whether it's for a bachelorette party, a baby shower, a sorority, or a funny gag gift, whatever you name it. I also bought the floral shaped sunglasses, but they do have hearts, round ones. So like always, I will put a link in the description below to everything that I'm using today. So I have these white alphabet beads with gold letters on them. Hopefully you can see those okay. All of these flowers right here came in the same package. I think it was $10 for all of them. You could use peace signs or smiley faces, whatever you want to, but I'm gonna use the flower embellishments today. And then we're gonna be using super glue. So if you have hot glue, you can try it. I kind of tried it and it pops off really easily. The letters do, so we're gonna do super glue for this. I do not like getting super glue on my finger, so I have a little like finger glove that I'm going to be using just so that I don't get super glue on it. And then I've gone ahead and picked out the letters for my girl's names because I figured you didn't want to watch me search forever through all these letters for the correct ones. So we are ready. Hopefully my super glue will still be fresh and good. Sometimes it dries up. Okay. If you're not used to using super glue, it will make your fingers stick together. It is like very, very um, quick and it definitely works. It's very sticky. So we're just gonna use a tiny dot. I'm gonna start in the very middle of up here where um, the middle of the petal and we're gonna start with one of the L's, the middle of her name. So that's the middle letter. So you want to kind of want to space things out perfectly. And then we're going to go ahead and do another one. Put the next letter. It's going to take a while for it to dry up. So once we do it, you will have to let it sit flat. Try really hard not to move it. Okay, one more. So in the beginning, super glue is like on things like plastic, sometimes it takes a long time. Like on your finger, it will work immediately. But on plastic, it kind of is movable for a second. Okay. So now her name is on there. We're good to go with her name. I don't feel like I'm doing a very good job using my finger glove. I feel like I'm just using my other fingers instead. So hopefully I can get better. I really don't want my fingers to stick together. Okay, so now that we have her name over there, I'm going to put some flowers on this side. So I kind of trying to prop my, my super glue up so it doesn't tip over. So I don't know if I want like white or green or all of it. Maybe something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and or maybe let's see, do three different kinds of flowers. I think we'll do like that, okay. So I'm gonna be pretty generous with these because these are pretty big flowers. I don't wanna cover too much of the spot where she'll be looking out. So I'm gonna kind of do it on the edge like that. Okay, one more little one up here. Let's so try really hard not to get super glue on the actual lenses. Okay, so we have it. So now, like I said, it is really hard to glue things to plastic. Like I said, the hot glue, it just popped right off. So with the super glue, it will work, but it really has to sit very still for a long time. And so if you just lay these down, you can kind of see how the sunglasses like are on an angle. So I'm gonna try to prop this up really flat on some cardboard that I already kind of tore up. 
to see if we can get it to sit really flat. It's like a balancing act, you guys. Oh, there, I think we did it. Super still so that it doesn't fall and everything slide off. So we're gonna let that dry for a pretty long time. I'm gonna go on to Sadie's, move her letters over. Okay, the middle, her middle letter is D, so we're gonna start with a D right in the very center. Y'all, if you don't have these finger gloves, I love these finger gloves. Like it, we use these all the time when my little, when my girls were little and we had to do like Desitin and all the diaper rash cream. Um, so I will put a link to these below in case you want to do it for stuff like super glue or if you're just like, you want it for some other reason. I actually think these are really cool. I can't remember how much these sunglasses were, but it was a whole set of, I think six and they are pretty cheap. So I will link those as well. I think they're super cute. There were, like I said, heart ones that'd be really fun too. To be honest, this was a craft I was going to do and include in their little summer baskets. And then life just got crazy and I didn't get them done before summer, unfortunately. But they'd be super cute to make like custom fall ones, um, Christmas ones, whatever holiday you wanna celebrate. My girls are gonna love the color, you know, the girly colors as well as the flowers all times, all of the year because my girls are pretty girly. So last is Macy, her favorite color is blue. So I saved the blue ones for her. Knew that's what she'd want. Like I said in the beginning, especially on plastic, if you were doing it on something that wasn't so slippery, it would dry much faster. But on plastic, it's kind of slippery. So you have a second to kind of like maneuver and move the letters around if you're not sure that they're centered the way you want. Now I'm just doing the letters like this. You could definitely put the name at the bottom or on the side. You also don't even have to do a name. You could do something like, sassy or you know whatever a nickname a personality trait they have a little funny joke because it's something you could totally make yourself for party favors even for like your kids friends if your kid was having a birthday party these would be super cute little party favors to give their friends this also would be nice because my girls i don't know about you but having three little girls they're right now they're six eight and nine and so when you buy things like sunglasses they normally all want ones very similar and then you never know who's is who's without marking everything with a Sharpie. And so this is a great way to like, look, you all have sunglasses. They're all very similar, but they have your name on it. So there's no arguing about whose is whose. Okay, friends. So that's how I made the super cute custom sunglasses for my girls. And like I said, I will link all the supplies that I use in the description below this video. My girls are ages six, eight, and nine. So if you have small kids like ages two and under, this is probably not the best gift for them. Even though the beads are all super glued onto the sunglasses, they could still be pried off if a kid tries hard enough. And so I don't want any little babies or kiddos prying the beads off and choking on them. So please just be mindful of who you are making these for. But I do think they make super cute little party favors, gifts for older kids and friends and family. I hope you think so too. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye.